video, I'm gonna be spending a little bit of Robux to become the best player in Pool a Sword. It's a game where we have to click in order to get more power, and then we have to try to pull the sword out of the stone. If we can do it, we get the sword. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pool a Sword. As you guys can see, I've been busy. So in the first episode, we started out here in world number one, and we were able to easily pull out Excalibur and move on to world number two. For those of you guys that haven't seen this game before, we need to click in order to gain power, and then once we have enough power, we can pull the sword out of the stone. And then once we pull the sword out of the stone, we are actually able to use the sword, which has different multipliers. So as you guys can see, we've pulled out quite a few swords. At the moment, we are using Lightbringer, which I'm pretty sure is from world number four. Now, if we uh, go over here, we can escape the castle. In the last video, I did see a lot of you guys were commenting about this ginormous dragon boss. I didn't realize this, but you can actually fight this thing. Let's go ahead and show it who's boss. Mega boss. Magma dragon. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> that thing just got cooked. Let's do it again. <laughs> you call yourself a dragon? Bro, I am dragging this sword all over your face. Now, actually, guys, the cool thing about this is that we actually, I believe, get different puzzle pieces that we can use to craft some pretty overpowered pets. So if I kill this guy, let's say five times, I can actually craft an overpowered mythic pet. This is something that I don't think a lot of people know about this game since it's a little bit different than like arm wrestling simulator. There is really no like crafting option, at least that I know of, or at least like they probably added something in recently. But this one's really cool. So let's go ahead and let's see. We, we're getting some like legendary ones, but we're really trying to get our hands on the mythic ones, which we only need five of. In the store, I did notice as well that there's some stuff that we can buy to get extra pieces. So we can buy times two pieces and also times three pieces, which I think stack on top of each other. So we can get up to times six puzzle pieces to craft better pets. Something that they just added in the recent update too is a chance to get shiny pets as well. I think we can just get by 100% shiny pets. So we'll get the best pets possible every single time that we hatch an egg. Sometimes you gotta spend a little bit of money in order to make some money. And by making money, I mean to become the best in the entire game. There's also a brand new aura, which I bought one in the last episode, but as a lot of you guys were saying in the comments, I forgot to equip it. Uh, there's these trails too that should probably just buy the rainbow trail. Now I get like really fast speed in this cool little rainbow poop trail. But anyway, going back to the auras, we now have this, the times seven Luna aura, which means that we get times seven to our click power. So if I were to go ahead and just like unequip it, we now do only 365 billion extra strength per click. But if I put it on, oh no, that sword's auras. If I put on the Luna aura, you guys will notice that we now have 2.5 trillion power per click. And I've been clicking a lot. So much, in fact, that we were able to get out of here. We were even able to get out of the frozen island, and I think even the desert. Oh, no, wait. Okay, so we're, we're in the desert right now. This is the one that I need to escape because there was a brand new update where there's another world. Zone 5 that has five new swords, 40 new pets, and another world boss. So the world boss right here, I think, is just this guy, the Ruined Prince, who just, like, refuses to die. Every time I try to beat him, like, I can't even get close. So my goal today is to beat the final boss, defeat the world boss, get the epic sword, save Save the world and, you know, escape the desert. Should be easy enough. Okay, the one thing that I'm really close to getting is this. The one quintillion master click upgrade. I think all I have to do is get some better pets and then start clicking. Like I was saying with the crafting thing, so we can actually go ahead and go over to, I think it's the frozen boss. That was in the last world. So I beat that boss up quite a bit and we can now craft tons of the mythical frozen boss pet. There we go. And now if I go back to my pets, we can equip the best, which a lot of them are probably going to be, yes, the frozen boss pet. That gives us a times 1.1 thousand multiplier. And on the right side, you guys will see that we have a times 55,000 multiplier. A lot of that comes from our Ultra Dominus that we spent 15,000 Robux on, which my mom was not really happy about. Well, that's fine. We're not going to talk about that. Also, if you guys are playing this game and do have a little bit of Robux, you can buy potions. Now, I really wish that I could just buy all of the potions. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that I can. You kind of have to buy them all individually. So we're going to go ahead and buy every single potion. But there's one in particular that's going to be the best one. Also, make sure you hit use after. I buy them sometimes and I swear like I just don't use them because my brain is sometimes pretty tiny. Okay, we'll use our luck potion. But this one is the most important one, the strength potion. You guys are going to see that my strength is about to 
shoot up. Look at that. We went from 2.7 trillion per click to 5.4 trillion right down here. Also, I guess we might as well get our double wins potion. Double the wins means double the amount of trophies that we get. Double the trophies means that I could get even better pets. Okay, so now every time I click, yeah, we get 5.4 trillion strength, dudes. We are about to be at one quintillion in no time. In order to get out of here, it looks like this guy, we need at least 35 quintillion. We have our work cut out for us today. But if I'm going to be the best and pull the sword, I'm gonna have to pull out this sword, beat the boss, and get to the final world. And as much as I hate to do this, guys, I think I might need a better pet. So I am kind of curious, what if I buy the best pet over here? We're just going to auto open a few and cross our fingers and see what we get. Oh, two legendaries. And the best part about this is they're automatically going to be shiny. Oh my gosh, three shiny Bokus. <laughs> Come on, three more. Do I hear three more? Oh, okay, two more. I'll take it. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this, make sure you guys grab your sword and tap it on the like button. If you do it, it'll turn blue. Okay, let's see if this is actually worth it. I could also be training while doing this. I kind of always forget that. Okay, how am I getting comments? I have like some of the best upgrades in the game so that I don't get comments. I at least need like epics or legendaries, but I will take a mythic. The chance of me getting a mythic is not good. Oh, oh, rare. Okay, I thought that was the mythic for a sec. Okay, now that we've done that a few times, let's go over to our pets and we'll equip the best right now. Oh, there we go. We just shot up to 85,000. We used to be at 55,000. And okay, so I can't, yeah, I don't think that I can, uh, um, do anything with these. I can't craft them anymore. So we actually have the best team minus the Ultra Dominus, which I mean, this thing was 15,000 Robux. So I guess technically I could get another one. Well, let's see. We now get 8.4 trillion per click. And I, honestly, guys, I still feel like that's not enough. Guys, I'm gonna do it for you. All right. This thing is 14,999 Robux. That is a lot, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it. To be the best, we gotta be willing to spend the most money. That's how Roblox works. I'm doing this so you guys don't have to. Okay. Whatever you do, just just don't do this at home. Equip the best. Did I get it? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, did I? Okay, okay, cool. It, it is equipped. And if I buy one more, we can craft the gold. But I, we're, let's just see how we do now. We get 10 trillion per click. That's got to count for something, right? We used to only get like 3 trillion. We almost have enough for our next click upgrade. We need 1 quintillion, guys. And once I get that, I have a good feeling we're going to shoot up in strength. That'll give us a little bit of a better multiplier. Now, there always is the option as well, guys, to rebirth, which I don't know if that's the best thing ever because... Uh, first off, it costs a lot of money, but more importantly, you uh, lose all of your strength. So I, I mean, I could get a really good multiplier because I'm, I'm locked in at 590% right now, but I could maybe double it and get like double the click power. However, it resets everything all the way back down to zero. So I really don't think it's worth it right now. We're just about there, boys. We're at 999 quadrillion. One more quadrillion left. And this is it. We got it. One quintillion. Look at that. We get 3,500 click power. We just jumped up to 11.7 trillion. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be a lot higher. Well, that's fine. Okay. At least it's an upgrade. So do I even have a chance of pulling the Nightblade final boss right now? Let's see. No, no. That thing just destroyed me. Why is it so good? What is that thing made out of? Okay, the last thing I can think of, ladies and gentlemen, is to rebirth. Now, I, I hate to do it, but I have so much cash. And honestly, I think that more cash might even be better. Because, yeah, you could buy strength, but, like, it's it's two trillion strength, and I have one quintillion. So, and I thought I could buy more trophies, but, oh, wait, let's actually, let's get our trophies up. So let's go ahead, and we're going to auto-fight um, the Lightbringer Extreme. And it seems like every single time that I win, I get eight quadrillion wins. So that is a whole lot of money. Okay, my game plan right now is to get around... 200 quadrillion wins and then we're gonna rebirth as many times as it'll let me okay guys here goes nothing we're gonna go to rebirth we're gonna rebirth as many times as possible in three two one. Oh, guys i don't like this how high can we go wow wow okay hold on let's auto click on the rebirth holy smokes this is the strat guys i used to be at a time 600 multiplier we are at almost 10 times that holy smokes i can't believe i didn't do this sooner wow oh this is so broken i don't even know if the devs know about this. This is the most broken thing ever. I like literally haven't even made a dent in my money. I don't know if you guys have looked, but we're only spending a hundred billion and we have quadrillions of dollars to spend. Like I could leave this up maybe even all night. We're about to have over a thousand rebirths in, in one game. And all I have to do is sit back, relax and watch my multiplier go up. 
Once it hits 30,000 multiplier, I just want to see what that means. Okay, so it's almost at 30,000. We are there. Okay, we're going to let it chill for a second. I literally haven't even spent like a quadrillion. We almost spent, I think, one quadrillion. So now if I click, we get 514 trillion to click. 514 trillion per click. And we're nowhere near the max rebirth that we can get. The other people on the server have rebirths of like 12, 10, 8. I have 3,000. I am simply built different. I am a god. Okay, not actually, but wow, this is incredible. Okay, guys, here was a, I mean, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep rebirthing. I'm gonna leave this up for a while, and we're just gonna see what I end up with, and I'll check back in a little bit later. All right, let's see how it's going, and we have 569,000 rebirths. No flipping way. Dude, at the start of today's episode, we had 600% boost from our rebirths. Now we are about to hit 600,000%. Not 6,000, not 60,000, 600,000%. How is that even possible? And guys, I'm not gonna lie. We're not even close to being maxed out on rebirths. I have so many trophies and we're barely spending anything. My trophies aren't even going down, but my rebirths are going through the roof. Okay. I just, I'm going to stop it right now. I'm going to leave it on overnight. And if you guys do want to see how powerful I can get, because I think I could probably like break the entire game. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more episodes. But for right now, we, <laughs> our current, our current click gives us 9.7 quadrillion. At the start of today's episode, we were getting like 3 trillion per click. If that's not progress, I don't know what is. All right. So I want to say that we probably have enough to pull the night blade sword, but let's, let's test it out. Oh, we do. We do. Yes, let's go. And because we did that, we get even more trophies. Like, I want you guys to watch my trophies just shoot up. We're getting like 0.1 quintillion every single time we're pulling this sword out of the stone. And I also completely forgot. We get to use the sword now. The Night Blade, which gives me a 2.5 times multiplier. He's going to be the new, like, depressed emo prince. Okay, tell me this is enough. Come on. Yes. <laughs> we did it. We literally did it. <laughs> no way, guys. And we're also getting different pieces that we can maybe use to get a legendary or even a mythic pet. Also, at the same time, I just, I don't want to point it out, but like, I am getting even more trophies. This is just like a win, win, win situation. Okay, wait, did I get the, uh, the, 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 where is it? The, I don't see it anywhere. The mythic. Oh yeah, we're, oh, there's not even a mythic one. We're just looking for like the wizard dragon, which I almost have. And there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to craft that just to see if it's better than the pets that I currently have. It gives me a 2.3k multiplier, but our shiny Bokus give us 3 1k so it's honestly not even worth my time what we're gonna do is we are going to officially escape the desert and we are now in i think the final world or wait a second there might be another one ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna keep rebirthing if you guys want to see more make sure you guys leave a like and click this video if you missed episode one click it i beat my brother dirt boy in it